Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Frank, how's it going, buddy? Good. It looks like we took up new occupations. I'm a firefighter today. You're a sailor. I'm a mime. You're a mime. You are a mime. Yeah. Can you do any mime things? No. Can you be in a box? If you put me in one, sure. Can you pull a rope? I can pull a rope. That's a big mime thing where they're like... That's right. That's pretty good miming. Not bad, right? Yeah, that's I, not... I literally just now realized I could do that. Give me a rope pull. Give me a little... I can't. That was really good, actually. Was it? Yeah, that was really, really good. I'm not fucking no, around. you're gassing me I'm up. I'm not gassing you up. You not, fucking with me? No gas in this room. That was very good. Because you, you didn't... You fucking with me? I promise you I'm not. Very good. Your hand stood really still. <laughs> Holy shit, you could be a mime. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, you could. I couldn't be. I like to talk too much. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> How um, you doing? I'm doing well. Today is a, a, a spectacular day. It is. Uh, because it is uh, launch day, essentially. Well, launch day was two, three days ago, wherever this fucking comes out. I got you. Brick and mortar launch day. Boom. Was a couple weeks ago. Right. Online sales launch day. Right now. Bingo, bango, bongo. Guys, it is official. The uh, hot sauce that I've been working on with Greg for the past year and change or whatever it's been. Uh, is officially available now, uh, and the website that you can go to is secrethandshake.shop, and it will redirect you to uh, heatnist.com, which will put you right on the page where you can purchase this. We did it in collaboration with this company, Heatnist, uh, but it's the world's first everything bagel hot sauce. <sighs> go get yourself a bottle right now, or go get a couple bottles, honestly, because it runs out really fast. Again, it is secrethandshake.shop. Uh, go to that website. It'll bring you right there. Go support the boy. A lot of people don't know this. Heatnist, one of the parties behind the popular show for uh, Hot Ones. Yes. First We Feast Hot Ones. Right. Uh, favorite of mine. Favorite of yours. Yeah. I, I love hot sauce. You yeah, know, I know. I'm a hot sauce guy. I know you are. And, and you, you've had it before, and yours ran out pretty quickly. Yeah, I will say this. I It takes me a while. I'll get like three hot sauces, and I keep them in my jar, and I cycle through pretty quickly. You know, like it'll take me like, I would say honestly, a year to go through a whole jar of hot sauce. Not No exaggeration. That hot sauce, two weeks max. I So I've had like a couple of, well, we've had iterations of this over the years, but like over the year. Um, but the, when we finished it, it was in a bottle, and I, when I got my hands on it, I put it literally on everything just to see how it would taste on everything. And I've had it on pizza, burritos. Uh, I put it on a salad once. Dogs. You threw that back. Put boy it on a dog, dog at your house. Dude, that's yeah. right. At Frankie's house, they had dogs. I was like, I'm putting this shit on a dog. Yeah. So I did that, and it's fucking good. It's honestly, it's good on everything. And like everything bagel, we wanted it to be like super New York, uh, and we feel like that kind of represents um, New York <laughs> in some way. And, um, Shit is fucking good. Well, I mean, you know, you, when you think, first of all, everything bagel, the best bagel that there is, I will go out Easily, and say, yeah. without a doubt. Yeah. You know, uh, better than cinnamon raisin. Put that out there. Is that someone's favorite? I, I know people that really, really enjoy cinnamon raisins. My sister does that. They're good, but they're not as good as everything. But I will say this, everything bagel, best bagel. And why? Because it's got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's, it's got, got, it hits all. It, it's got everything. It got everything. <laughs> That's it. It hits everything. Also, I brought some wings. Oh. Cause, like I said, I've had it on a lot of, I've had it on a bunch of stuff. There's ranch in there. Uh, the ranch. Toss it against the, the wall. Toss on. it right against the wall. Um. Oh, this is perfect. Cause I get to close it and we'll just fucking. Oh yeah. Do that. You're gonna pour that whole bad boy in there, aren't you? No, I'm not gonna pour the whole. Fuck thing it up, in there. Dad. <laughs> Fuck it up, Dad. No, I, I, seriously. You know, I'm not gassing you up just because one, you pay my bills, and two, you're my best friend in the whole wide world ever, and I know that I'm yours, please. And. <laughs> It legitimately hits all fucking quadrants. Like you get your saltiness, you get your your you know a little bit of a spice with uh, I believe it's uh, scorpion. scorpion pepper in there. Yeah, scorpion um, scorpion pussy. No, no scorpion no, powder. No powder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, a little garlic, the little poppy seed, and then there's a little like twang, like a little like hang y'all, hang dang. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> a little like oh my god, Zach Brown band. And I I was so pleasantly surprised. I legitimately did quote unquote put that shit on everything. To steal the uh, line from somebody else. I just put a ton in here. I put half the bottle in here. Suck it up. Oh, my God. The smell. It's very, very good. It smells like everything bagel, honestly. So, like, wait. Uh, so, okay. Because you were pretty 
secretive about this. No pun intended. You you really didn't talk about it much. I think when it first started, you would kind of let me know that you were you had something in the works. But for the most part, hello, hello, daddy, hello, daddy, daddy, dad, are you back? Dad, no. are, are you home yet? No, he's not. It's been so long, dad. <laughs> Let's have a wing. Um, you were pretty like secretive about it. So like, where? I guess why? Why start with a hot sauce? Oh. Oh, you got, grabbed a flat? Oh, I grabbed a flat sucker. So, where, like, why, what gave you the idea to start with a hot sauce? I mean, honestly, it was super random. Do I suck it down? Do I go one suck? You're just going to fucking, like, you think I could? slam it? You think I could? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Get in there. Yeah, fuck it up. Oh, wow. Damn, dude. <laughs> What's up, bitch? How was it? Very fucking good. Mm. This smells fucking crazy. Oh my god. Did you eat a bone? A little cartilage, but I'm okay. Okay. I'm gonna go for a flat as well. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Honestly, I've had it on a bunch of stuff. My favorite thing to have it on is wings. Ooh, I threw it on a bacon, egg, and cheese. Holy shit. For Father's Day, Becca made me a bacon, egg, and cheese in the morning. And I threw this son of a bitch on there. Holy cannolis. Fucking put it, put it in me. Just fucking good, man. I'm so proud of this. Can you answer my fucking question? Where did the idea for a hot sauce come from? <laughs> fucking Christ. You see I'm fucking busy, you bitch? I see, I see you're busy, but, you know, give me... I'm, I'm in the room, too. It's not just you and the wings and the hot sauce. Dad? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, honestly, the idea came because... Me, after uh, we did pay the price, me and Greg, we were like, kind of looking for the next thing, so we kind of had a handle on that, and it sort of just like runs itself at this moment. At this moment. Um, so we were like, just, we would throw ideas back and forth about a bunch of different things, um, and then one day he was like, you know, it would be cool if we did like a hot sauce or like something food related. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'm down. Because like something with like food and something... With like an alcoholic beverage I've always wanted to do. Mm. Um, and he mentioned hot sauce. And then he was like, I run past this place all the time in Brooklyn, which is the Heatonist. And uh, they're the ones who like curate all the hot sauces for hot ones and, w- and whatnot. So we like guessed their email. We like wrote this whole email what, out. What, you guessed the email? Yeah. Was it? Uh, I'm not going to ask you what the email is, but well, you just guessed it. You can kind of guess like with companies, it's like at the website.com and then you have to guess the, the name. Like, is it their first name? Is it first and last name? Is it their, you know, whatever. First so we, and last initial. We just like guessed all this shit and we, we like wrote out like five different, we wrote out an email with like our pitch basically being like, we want to collaborate on a hot sauce. This is our, you know, experience and things we've, places we've worked and what we've created and, you know, whatever. Uh, so we wrote this whole thing out and then we sent it to like five different iterations of the email that we thought it would be and then one of them got back to us so we're like all right nailed it <laughs> so in the first shot first shot we got it the other ones they just kick back to you but the, you we got it and they were cool enough to be like yeah fuck it like let's have a meeting and that's we, such a like an entrepreneurial like i woke up i woke i pulled myself up on my bootstraps every day and i i called every number i can come up with in my head until someone gave me a job i mean we just like it was an idea and we're like fuck it Let's just see what happens. They didn't have their email on their website? Like, saying, I don't know. Like, for inquiry. So you didn't even check the website? Well, we didn't send it to the website. We oh, tried to send, to send it like... to the guy who oh, owns the company. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah, so we wanted to send it to the guy who owns the company. So we that's what we did. We guessed that email. Um, but then, honestly, you could probably find it. It's probably sure. not hard I'm, to find. I'm sure, yeah. But like, we just like were in turbo mode. Um, but anyway, uh, we met with them, and we had a beer. Well, that's in it. the backyard of their of their uh, office, and uh, I guess they liked us, and they were like, "Yeah, fuck it, like let's let's do it." And then, uh, so we were super fucking psyched about that. Did you were, did you always have the idea to make it something that was kind of like New York based? Yeah, I can slam them. Yeah. Give, me that, give me that son of a bitch. Um, did you always have the idea to have it something to be like New York based, or was it did it kind of like blossom as you were going through the process? It blossomed immediately after the first meeting because. They were very interested in making sure that, like, there was some meaning behind why we were doing it, what the name would be, what the the company, because we had the Secret Handshake is the name of, like, the food company that we had to, like, formulate. 
in collaboration with them. But like all this had to have meaning to us personally. Um, so after that, we were like, okay, what do we want to create that would mean something to us? So that's when it was like, okay, we want it to be sort of reflective of New York. So we're, so then to New Yorkers, you and Subtle Flex Greg, who just uh, just threw in there that he jogs. Guy jogs. The guy jogs. And he was like, oh, I just, I just jog on my ninth mile. <laughs> past this place. Past this place. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we um, then, so like we had that idea in our head, like, oh, let's make it like New York based. But I was thinking as far as like the look of it, like the name and the, uh, the, like what the label would look like. Like that's what I was thinking of as far as like it being New York based. Like I wasn't thinking of the flavor at that point because I didn't really know too much about so the So you were thinking like sauce. the pretty like – Standard like Empire State Building, Statue of Liberty, like some some branding, no, something more subtle, but yeah, like or like the Subway the logo, or, you know, not something Subway the sandwich brand, like the Subway, the MTA Subway. I knew what you meant. Um, we knew that we wanted to do something like New York based, sort of. So we were like, all right. But the first day that we went, because like this was like oh, I think maybe a month or two later, we went to like try a bunch of different sauces. We tried a bunch of sauces that day too, um, but this time they were trying like the new sauces. So they always like experiment with other sauces and whatnot uh and this one immediately i saw the sauce and like it's a it's a strange color it's like a it's like a, a, it's like a, a light white gray. and gray with yeah. like you know some seeds in it and whatnot poppy seeds yeah not for heroin use here right all vegan by the way so only vegans out there damn yeah bro you like that um but anyway uh we uh when, immediately when i saw the sauces there was like five of them five or six this one stood out to me because I'm like, what the hell is that? Like, the color, I was like, what the fuck? And uh, the guy's like, open that and tell me what you think it is. So we opened it, and immediately I was like, this is everything bagel. And he's like, yeah. But we tried it, and it, like, wasn't hot at all at that point. Mm -hmm. And we had to keep going back and forth and adjusting it because then it was, like, too hot, and it ruined, like, the, the taste of it. Yeah. We had to dial some shit back. And it was a lot of back and forth in that way. But after that first meeting, I was just kind of like, dude, this is it. Like, we wanted something New York based. Like, it's everything bagel. We like looked up everywhere trying to find like if it, it had existed yet, at le or been popularized, and it hadn't. And like, everyone loves everything bagel. There's like the everything bagel like seasoning that Bro, people that's put on blown shit. up like, over the last like three four years. It's everywhere now. Right, and that's why I was like, this is crazy. That's never been done. Mm -hmm. And we feel like it has the right amount of spice because it's hot, but it's not hot enough that you're like, I can't go back to it. Well, that's that's the thing that I always look for in a hot sauce because, again, I try I love to try a bunch of different hot sauces. Part of it is because of the flavor. Part of it is also the, pr the pride in me where I'm like, what, what the fuck? Is, yeah, I can do this. I got it. I got this, you son of a bitch. For instance, when we would go to Hooters, I would order 911 wings trying to show off to the Hooters girls. Never worked. Not a single time. <laughs> <laughs> but something I look for in hot sauces that I have is like, is there a good balance of flavor and heat? Because there are some hot sauces that are delicious but have absolutely no flavor. I'm not, I mean, not, no heat. I'm not gonna give anyone a plug here, but like, you can literally drink it like a, like a cup of it and you're just like, yeah, it tastes good, but like, it, it doesn't feel like it's a hot sauce. It feels like it's just kind of like a fucking dressing, you right. know? Where I remember the first time that you gave me that, the first thing I said was like, bro, you instantly, you get all the flavors, you get the spice, and the spice lingers a little bit, but you're not fucking gasping for air at the end right. of it, you know? And that's that's what I think is everyone now wants to make the hottest thing in the world. You know, Carolina Reaper fucking chips, and, you know, which go check out the Patreon. We did an episode on it. I'm not going to plug it right now because it's Joey's time. But I'm saying, like, everyone wants to make the hottest fucking thing in the world, and they're losing out on flavor. And that is fucking delicious. And, again, not gassing you up. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't be talking it up like this. It's good. It's spicy, and it pairs well with almost anything, you know? Yeah, I fucking love it. It's very, very good. Wait, so wait, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Can I learn the secret handshake? Is there a secret handshake? No. Kayfabe, There's Joe. a logo. Yeah, I, I see, and it's like... Kayfabe. <laughs> Kayfabe, Joe. <laughs> no, it's like... So they came up with it. Originally, we had some other shit. You're crossing your wieners. Yo, at one point... What? Give me another one of them bitches. Don't you fucking close that up on me. You can't bring wings and put that hot sauce on it and not expect me to fucking suck them down. You know what the problem is? I have chapped lips right now, and it's getting in my chapped lip. That's what you get for fucking sucking the it's devil. It's a little hot. Yeah, I got you. You want some water? I got some water down here. Do you? Yeah. No. Okay. You saw that there was a suck part on it, and you didn't want any of it. <laughs> um, what, was, what, <laughs> what were you just going to oh, say? Oh, the handshake. Um, 
So that part of the, the label here on the front, it says Secret Handshake Food Company. If you know, you know. And then it says Everything Bagel Hot Sauce by Heatonist. Medium heat. But uh, this handshake, like, fucking logo or whatever, we had a bunch of different iterations of that. And at one point, I forgot what it was, but it was like something about dicks. Like, I forgot, I was putting... That's a very phallic secret handshake. Well, no, it wasn't that one. It was it was a different one, and then they were like, oh, that oh, it was like this. Oh, yeah, that's... It was just two fists like this. So a, it looked like jerking off yeah, a dick. Yeah, you're begging to jerk someone off. Dude. Yeah, so, so we sent it. We're like, you know, these are kind of like some... Uh, you sound like a bunch of like hand signals or whatever. Yeah. You were throwing B's up, C's up. Right. Pimps up, hose down. Pimps up, hose down. Right. So we were throwing like a bunch of stuff at them seeing like which one they liked. And then this one, I was like, I don't mind this one. And they're like, well, that one looks like, you know. <laughs> and I was like, oh, wow. I'm like, it looks like you're jerking off a dick. Can't have that on there. But yeah, they couldn't say that out loud. They, you know, they got probably HR reps that are making sure that they're not saying anything inappropriate. Yeah, so... This is, uh, but yeah, we're super proud of this. It's been a long time coming, but that's it's, really it's, great, man. Seriously, really cool. congratulations. That's really awesome. I know you guys did the launch party a couple weeks ago in Brooklyn. Sorry, I wasn't able to make it. My stupid kid had his stupid birthday. <laughs> <laughs> kidding, he's not stupid. His birthday is. No, yeah. I'm kidding. Um, but that's that's really great, man. You're 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 really doing it. So uh, here's a question. Yes. What's next? Next, we fucking try to get this in every fucking uh restaurant every everything you, you try to sell us to walmart target target first take over the world you know bro, what i'm saying can you imagine that's great i really think that people will enjoy this and the bagel the bagel the the sauce was sent to a couple of people already that i have no idea who they are um i mean but they got it and they made like stories and saying that they really liked it. And I was like, oh, fucking awesome. And then also anyone, it was like open to the public for people to come to, uh, did at Brooklyn Brewery, um, like the first tasters party. And everyone tried the sauce and they said they really liked it. My barber even like hit me up that night because he came to the party and he was like, I need another bottle. He's like, we finished it at dinner. Yeah, dude, I, I swear to God, I brought it home. And I go to Becca, I was like, you need to try this. She tried it, she was like, that's good. I was like, we we cooked chicken thighs that night with uh, some vegetable, broccoli, whatever. Yeah. My chicken thigh was 90% hot sauce, 10% chicken because <laughs> of how fucking, and, and, and it goes quick, man. It goes really, really quick. So I would recommend definitely getting a bottle, telling us, you know, telling, leaving reviews and then get more. Because- Honestly, get two bottles at least because it runs. See, we already fucking... Ran through half this bottle already. I and also it's like something I don't know. I try to I don't know what. All right, so I'll tell you guys what's what's in it. There's canola canola oil, garlic, water, distilled white vinegar, uh, lime juice, poppy seed, sea salt, onion flakes, black sesame seed, uh, sesame seed, mustard seed, white wine, hello, white sugar, turmeric, sesame oil, scorpion powder, and citric acid. Acid. Uh, it's it's uh, vegan and gluten free. Um, and I don't know what, which part of this makes me feel this way, but you know, when when you like eat one Pringle and you're like, well, how am I, I I need another Pringle, right? It has that effect on me where I'll be honest in the past have not been a gigantic hot sauce person. Like, it's not like I'm just like fucking crushing sauce. Yeah, no, I, I get that. I, I love, I'm a sauce, I'm a sauce and dip boy. So if there's a sauce and or dip around, I'm going to overdo it. I'm going to, but I'm always, I'm going to taste a little first raw. You know, because <laughs> you got to taste it raw first. You got to see what it is. Raw. Um, but you're right. There's something about it that, that keeps you kind of coming back. And uh, I put, I, like, when I, I was eating a I burrito. I think it was really nice, oddly. And yeah. I'm gonna, it's my turn to talk. Yeah. I, I think it's shady because I have a very refined palate, as we've discussed multiple times in the past. Haven't. The turmeric is really nice because a lot of people don't really have or know what turmeric is, and they don't realize the, the, the flavor profile to it. And it's really prominent in there. Works really well with the garlic, with with the vinegar, which my, personally, vinegar-based hot sauces are my favorite. Hmm. And uh, that's a good bitch. That's a good little little bottle of bitch. This is a good bitch. Again, the 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 website is uh, secrethandshake.shop. It'll redirect you to theheatness.com where you can buy this. Go get a couple bottles. Um, and while you're online, yeah. 
while you're there. While you're online. While you're online. Right. You can go check out Patreon. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard in order to get more of us. Hey, do you like us? There's more of us on the internet if you look hard enough. And guess what? I'm not even going to ask you to look that hard. I'm going to tell you where to look. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. It's our Patreon account. If you like to support us, support the show, support me, support Joe, uh, that's where you can go and you can do it. You sign up for our Patreon, that first tier. Guess what? You get these weekly episodes a week in advance. Get in on the conversation, the jokes, everything that we talk about a week before everybody else. A week before the people that can't be on the Patreon for whatever reason. We don't judge them. We don't hate them. But we don't feel great about them. <laughs> Kidding. Um, and then that second tier, well, that's where you get those exclusive episodes where you get every single Friday, baby. Friday, 7 a.m., uh, you get exclusive episodes that are a little raunchier, a little naughtier, a little hornier, a little wet or a little sluttier. I would say. You got any more adjectives? I got a couple more if you really want me to go, but uh, just make sure you go check it out. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. We're creeping above 11,000, which we love to be at. We get to 12,000. We have something in store for you guys. We won't tell you what it is until we get really, really, really close to help you guys push you over. Uh, so go check it out. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Thank you. Yeah. I was like, you... I'm, like, I'm getting good at that. Pretty I, much. I think I could do an ad read, but I would also be too nervous. You know, I'd be like... Oh, Don't help. mess that up. I'd be like, better help. Oh. So yeah, that's my baby. That is your baby. Congrats on your baby, Joe. Thank you so much. You now have a dog and a hot sauce. You are you basically have your own children. Exactly. Yeah. So where where do you go from here? If not, well, you already have your own kids, so you don't need any more. I have my hot sauce. I have my dog. You have your dog and your hot sauce. Which your hot sauce wakes up crying in the middle of the night, right? No. 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 You're. Your dog definitely does wake up in the middle of the night crying. No. The other day, though, he woke up and he threw a bile on my pillow, though. I heard about that. You were on yeah. Xbox, and then you did the good old classic Joe Santagato Irish goodbye. The dog was throwing up. I'm not, I'm not saying you were wrong in this situation, but quite classic of you. Mm -hmm. What he's happened? Is he's he on okay? antibiotics. Oh, all right. He had, like, a hot spot. It's like a I know wound. what hot spots are, yeah. Yeah, on his paw. So I gave him... Uh, some antibiotics, but then he, I guess he's like, didn't eat enough that day and he's, it makes him sick. What a dumb idiot. What a little dumb idiot. He's all right. He's all right. He'll live. He will live. Hot spots don't tend to be fatal. Give him some of that hot sauce. See how he reacts. I don't know about that. Yeah, I would. I, this is really fucking good, man. Yeah. I'm so happy with this. You should be, man. You should honestly be proud of yourself. That's really, really great. Good to see you doing things from your childhood friend. <laughs> what? I could, you said that like you were writing a handwritten letter yeah. from your childhood friend, <laughs> I, Frank. I'm your pen pal from fucking, you know, Timbuktu. I had a pen pal in third grade. You remember? I remember you told me about him. Her, bro. She was an Asian girl from China. Asian girl from China. Yes, that's right. A Chinese girl from China. Well, yeah. I'm assuming Chinese. Um, it's quite possible. She could have been of some other. I think it's a safe assumption, though. I would say there's like two billion people there or something like that, so I would I think it's safe to say that they are probably Chinese. I'm going Chinese, but the house on Chinese. I mean, technically though, if you were born in Canada, you'd be Canadian. So if you were born in, you know what I'm saying? Huh. So if she was born in China. Wait, if I was born in China, am I Chinese? You're... Technically, are you though? I would say so. I mean, you could say your your family has descent elsewhere. Like I I am American, but I am also of. Colombian, Greek, and Egyptian descent. Right, but I'm American. If my, if I have two just plain yogurt white parents. Yeah, imagine. And they <laughs> live in China. Yeah. For like four years. Yep. And you're born there. Year one, they spang. Yeah. And then I'm born. Yep. And then I do two years there, and then I move back to the states. Not how math works, but yeah. I'm Chinese. Yeah, I would say so, yeah. I mean, because you're a Chinese citizen. That's far. That's kind of sick, right? I've always wanted to go and check out China, Japan, Korea. Yeah. The, good, the good Korea. <laughs> Not the one that people aren't so pumped about. Hey, man. You never know who's watching. Um, We're not going to say which Korea, I'm not, but yeah. there's one Korea. There's one. <laughs> there is a Korea. That we're a little on the fence we're about. We're not going to point fingers, but one of the Koreas... One of these. I don't know which one, <laughs> but it is one of these. It's 50-50. You make that determination for yourself. One we of the have Koreas, a favorite Korea. We do. We've had this I've conversation. Confirmed. Have a good favorite Korea. We have a favorite Korea. Which one is it? Who knows? God I'm, knows. I am not going to sit here and provide any details on which 
Korea is the preferred Korea in the household of Alvarez. Uh-huh. Uh, but one of them is probably more favored than the other. Yeah. I, by a bit, I would say. Yeah. Um, I've always wanted to see that Korea. Right. You know? <gasps> Hello. We tap danced along that one. That I wonder, do you think we have any like listeners in like China and or Japan? I'm sure. That'd be pretty cool. At least one. I would say one. I'm sure right? there's a bunch of whites in Japan. Well, I know a yeah. Japanese kid who recently was like, I forgot where I was, but I was talking to this guy and he's like from Japan, but he's, he was born, he was born in Japan, was here most of like his younger life. It's called childhood. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, but I think he was like 12 to 20. So I, is that childhood? I would say ch- childhood is like fucking formative years. Bing bong. It's so kind of that we say that because we mean when your balls drop for men. For women. When do your balls drop? Honestly, I think mine were like 12, 13. Also, wait. <laughs> this is going to be a stupid question. I'm sure it will be. I'm ready. Do you know how they say like, oh, your balls drop? Do your balls drop? Yes. So they're always up at one point? Yeah, they're like they're like hanging out at home. They're like birds in a nest. Like you when know? I, but when I get cold, my shits are up. Yeah, they go back every now and then. It's up and it's stuck, just Bro, like Cardi B. It, think of it like a bird, a baby bird. They spent the first couple years in the nest. They don't want to leave. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Then when it's like, yo, I can do this on my own, they fly away. You know that's not how that works, right? I think it is. They no, fly. the mother bird kicks the fucking babies out. That's why you see dead birds on the ground because those motherfuckers are like little bitches oh, who don't learn, know how to fly learn yet. Fly, bitch. That's Some what I'm fighters saying. are trying to teach you. Do it. That's a great song. Um, and then you know when they need when they get when they're not feeling so hot, they go home for the comfort. You, you get what I'm saying? That's how balls work. Yeah. I didn't know that balls like actually like like I don't remember the day I looked in the mirror and been like oh shit my shits are dangling. I remember they it was not like a one day they're there one day they're fucking living in the basement you know like it's it, I, from what I recall with me it was a gradual thing. It was like a gradual drop. Exactly, you know, like a little yeah. they were a little lower every 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 day and then finally they just kind of reached their peak descent. Do you have you have hanging balls? They they're a good pair. I wouldn't but say, do they sw- like you have a swingy balls? I mean, if I'm walking around naked with my legs open, but like, I'm let me never, ask you a question. Never doing that. If you hold your penis, right? Yes. And you start going like this, yeah. naked. Yeah. Could you catch your balls in your ass? Well, without a doubt. Really? Yeah. Can you? Dude, I don't know if I could do that. It would have to be really human. Well, remember they when it's it- human, my shits are down there. <laughs> well, I don't mean to be insensitive because I don't know if there's another term for it though. But remember when. Guys would do the thing, the the mangina, where they would like flip their dick and balls. Yeah, and I could put catch my... it in the back and then they fucking quit. Yeah, I could put my dick back there. Yeah, I mean you can do that. Yeah, but I don't know if I could fit my 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 balls would have to stretch pretty far. I mean they're not going in my asshole, Joey. I'm but not saying they're going in your asshole. There's a lot Frank. of there's a lot of real estate. There's there's plenty of fucking countryside from here to Kansas. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. It would have to travel that far. I don't know if it's, there's that much gas in the tank. I I I believe I can do it. I'm pretty confident you can too. I mean I'm gonna try it now. We have one friend who's got a set of balls on him. He's got dude. a pendulum grandfather clock type he, nutsack. He has a pair of balls that honestly, not a joke. Like, like, do your chang hang? Do your balls hang low? Yeah. Do they wobble to the floor? They do wobble to the flow. And they hang low. Yeah, they do. He could they tie do. him in a knot, in theory. Yeah, I think he could. You know what I remember about you from puberty? With the game? What? You know what I remember about you from puberty? Yeah. You had some puffy fucking nipples, bro. I did, yo. I had such fat nipples. You had fat nips for a minute, I too. think I still kind of have fat nipples. Like, I might have that, like, kind of... Gyne- gyne- Whatever that I is. I think I have titty nipples too. Like I don't have like some people have them bad. Like I don't have them that bad. Well, there are people that like they have I, to get surgery. They have to get surgery, and I also think that's that's a as a result of um, people that take like performance enhancing drugs. Like you can get like basically no, no. like sucky nipples. No, no, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. I think so. I don't. But, wanna... but you, you're a lot of people are born with that. Like some dudes just have like these fucking fat ass nipples. So maybe like, they're born with it. Maybe they're huge nipples. The Rock had fat nipples. The Rock, but he's got big nipples. No, 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 no. He had fat nipples. Really? Yeah, he got surgery, bro. It's called gynecomastia, something like that. Oh, I don't know. You're saying a lot of words. There's there's fat in your tits as a guy, right? Yeah. Then they go in, they take the fat out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I I know that. The nipples, bro, not your tits. Bro, I know what you're saying, 
And I, I'm, I'm on the same fucking page as you. I'm saying The Rock had fat nipples. Yes, we know he had fat and nipples. And then they surgically got rid of the fat Joey, nipples. Joey, we've seen this guy shirtless for 30 years now. I think I can confidently say he has fat nipples. He doesn't anymore, is my I point. know. I remember when he had fat uh, nippies, I believe. That's what I was waiting for. You were doing everything as if it was like this the whole time. I'm no, saying, no, bro. You got rid of the fat nipples. Joe Santagato fucking, you didn't have fat nipples. You had fucking puffy nipples. Yeah, dude. I had I had budding nipples. You had nipples that looked like they just ate peanut butter and they had an allergy. What? They fucking... That's what my nipples look like? That's what your nipples look like. I remember because they were so puffy. You know, like the main, like the actual nipple? Yeah. You know, the eye of the storm? Of course. Your nipples were so puffy it went over that. You're bugging nope, now. Nope, I remember. No. I, I'm telling you I remember. You had puffy nipples to the point that like the uh, I didn't have inverted nipples. Dude. Not inverted, but they were so puffy that like it was like a fucking donut. Basically, your your titties looked like you had little donuts on them. You're playing this up for the camera. I'm dude. not playing anything up for the camera, Joey. I remember your nipples at age 13. <laughs> okay, I do remember having fat tits. And it's okay. I had <laughs> fat tits for a while too. <laughs> I remember one time I was chafing for my boob, and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> my boob. Yeah. And I, I remember actively thinking, yeah, like, I'm lactating. Because I didn't know. Wait, you thought you were lactating? Mm-hmm. Because, wait, you thought you were spraying milk I, out of your 13-year-old nipples? I was wearing a football jersey with no undershirt. Right. Which is a big problem if you got nipples. Yeah, yeah. So anyone. Which, yeah, everyone does. Sometimes. Sometimes. I remember one day I was like, I kept doing this with my shirt. I was like, what the fuck? Like, cause it, it felt like there was like a, like I felt raw. You thought you were like pregnant or something? I was like, yo, what the fuck? And I, I took my shirt off and I started squeezing them and I was like, am I lactating? And like, there was like a little, like, I wouldn't say liquid, but like there was moisture. Damn. You had some liquid secreting nipples. Yes. At like 13. Yes. Let's get to the ads real quick. Oh, no. <laughs> before, before we get to that, because I have questions about your lactating nipples at okay. 13 years old, we do have Stitch Fix, which uh, if you want to look cool uh, with nice clothes, you can use Stitch Fix. It's like having your own personal stylist that will pick out, hand pick out uh, certain things that you will like, and they will know what you like because they have a style quiz that you go onto their site, you fill it out, you tell them, this is what kind of fits I like, these are my sizes. Uh, you know, these are the kind of patterns I like and what I don't like. So they'll use that, pick some items for you, send them to you, uh, and then you just pay for what you keep. And if you, you, you return whatever else you don't want, um, but it's great. It's, you know, it's like someone working for you as a stylist and you don't have to like actively go buy new stuff. It just happens. It's nice. I, I like Stitch Fix a lot. Uh, you know, stuff just shows up and you're like, hey, this is nice. I'll keep this or this is not great. I'll send it back. No problem. Uh, there's no subscription required. You try once or set up automatic deliveries. There are no hidden fees ever. Um, there's It's for men, women, and kids. So it's great. Uh, shipping returns and exchanges are easy and free, by the way. Uh, but you can sign up today at stitchfix.com slash basement to get $20 off of your first purchase. That is stitchfix.com slash basement to get $20 off of your first purchase. Uh, this is a limited time offer, by the way. You, and you also have to purchase within two days of your sign up. Okay, so go check them out. And while you're at it, uh, go check out MVMT. Uh, you know, this is a, a company that has a lot of cool stuff on their website. They have watches, which I have, a, I think, four watches from MVMT. Um, and they're amazing. You know, some of them, you know, the look and the quality of them are, are it is equivalent to like a $500, $600 watch in like a regular store. Super nice. Um, but they're a, a fraction of the price. Um, and it's great. They also have blue light glasses that I think everyone should have because we're all staring at our phones and a screen for the most part, uh, for too many hours. Um, so yeah, go get a pair of cool blue light glasses. They have fine jewelry as well. Sunglasses, like a lot of cool stuff on MVMT. Great, uh, for gifts. All of these things are unisex. Um, so they're good for anybody. So, uh, if you want to elevate your look with style that doesn't break the bank, then join the movement and get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to mvmt.com slash basement. Again, that is mvmt.com slash basement. All right. So get to it, get to it. Yeah. Um, and now that we've gone over my baby mm -hmm. again, secret handshake.shop, go get a bottle or two 
Honestly, whoever buys 10 bottles in one shot, let me know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's a ton of hot sauce. Don't do that. Yeah, five bottles, five bottles, five bottles. I mean, you can give them out as presents. That's what I plan on doing. I, I plan on buying that a bunch too. and giving them to members of my family. Ah. Huh. See that? Well, give it to your dad. Don't tell him I did it. And see what he says. Um, I am. <laughs> my dad likes you. I don't know why you think he doesn't. Yeah, your dad hasn't smiled at me since I was one. Welcome to the club, Joe. <laughs> uh, my dad doesn't like hot sauce. Doesn't, and and his wife is, I think, like allergic to peppers. Perfect. So would be a bad day if I gave that is them. not my demographic. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I, I listen. Whatever you think. I Personally, if you have any foodies in your life that like hot sauce, like there are some hot sauce fiends out there. Dude. Yeah, there is. And uh, I always like trying something new. If you know any people in your life that do, get it for them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, since we talked about my baby, mm-hmm. someone else has a... Uh, <laughs> you cute little mind little boy. That's right. We are having another child. Frank's a three-time papa. Baby number three on yep. the way. Yeah, I still got it. I think that was the part. I always wonder, like, are my balls just going to quit today? And they didn't. Didn't quit. Mm-hmm. Worked a bit of overtime. Wow. Yeah. You know, they, they, they proved their worth. And uh, mm-hmm. uh, just good to know that things are still like... like. At least uh, now I know for sure that you've had sex twice. At least twice. Because one yeah. of them is my stepchild. Right. You know. And uh, the other two... Right, uh, were confirmed sexes with my wife. The yes, no, well, but I'm saying. Yeah, well, how would they? How would that se- work? No, I was gonna say, you know, it came from jizz. W- what else would it have come from? Prayer? No, I mean, well, technically, <laughs> technically, it all comes from prayer, Frank. Te- you know what? You are right. It's all. It all comes from prayer. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, <laughs> if you were gonna list stuff off, it all comes from prayer. <laughs> I was. I, I had a couple more, but I was like, you know what? Let me not upset the Christians. So today. Are you excited? What's the what's the date? Uh, January seventh, as of right now, we announce it to the world. Ooh, yeah. January seventh. We have our friend Espo's on January fourth. That's his birthday. Nice. And of course, he says name it Stephen. Uh, yeah. But uh, one. Do you know the sex? We do, Joe. Uh, Gender is a construct. So is sex. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, we're having a girl. Nice. Yeah. We did. Uh, we we. You know, we did a little. That's like, a good name for a girl, Stephen. Stephen, right? Yeah. We did a little gender reveal to like amongst us, where we went to a baker. They ha- we had him fill a single cupcake with the color filling. I hate that one. Thanks, man. And <laughs> <laughs> we had Miles bite into it. Bite into it? Yeah. It was the lightest color of like filling ever. So I was like, oh, I was like, oh, great, a girl. You know why I don't like that one? Because I feel like when you cut. Because uh, over it's the cake. Well, uh, biting into it, that's different. Yeah, that I'm bite. cool with. It was a bite. That I'm cool with. I approve. You're allowed to Good have the thanks. baby. All right, cool. At least you like it. <laughs> no, but when people do the cake, you see it on the on, on the, the knife. You, you ruin it, on, it. You see it on the knife. You need yeah. an explosion or you something need an crazy. Explosion, something crazy. Yeah, uh, like these people. You that, guys did the balloon that one time. That was we cool. Did a balloon safely indoors it was a bit of a cleanup. But like these people that are doing the ones in fucking California and starting wildfires that tear down millions of acres of land. Oh yeah, what were they doing? Bro, it was like a gender reveal and they like lit off like a fucking firework that started a fire and then it wiped out like a quarter of the state's wildlife. People gotta know this the gender reveal. Yeah, yeah, right? You know, just like, I need to know if it's a boy or a girl and I burn down this entire fucking state to figure it out. Yeah. But, uh... I think there's a fine line. Yo, also, I get it. You play baseball, so like... You know, whatever. Big risk, though. Yeah, because if you miss that ball, you're, you're risking you're, it. Yeah, and also just bad omen for the chai, for the child. What? Like you're smacking him with swing the swing and a miss. That's how you're gonna start. <laughs> you're gonna start with a fucking but, strike. My bro- that's what my brother and uh, yeah, but he and, hit it. And Julia did. And but he hit it exactly. The good yeah. thing he, if it was me up there, I would have missed. I would, bro. Too much pressure. That's a lot of pressure. Yeah, dude. I I couldn't hit fucking leading off with zero zero. Can you imagine this is bottom of the ninth, two outs. Fucking base what would, you, what would you do? What would be like your way of doing it? Would it be like a little like one of those poppers, like poo? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Something like that. But I, you know those people who are like they deadlift and they fucking drop it and it's like smoke and Bro, it's like all right. I love how men are like 
coming, trying to come up with the most like hyper masculine ways of, you know, figuring out the gender of their child yeah. where exactly like, they'll be like, all right, they're going to deadlift and then drop it on a fucking balloon or they'll like curl something. And when they get to the top, it fucking pops. And it's like, bro, just, you know, a little something. You don't I, need to do that. I honestly think I only like the pop or gender reveal because it's the only one that's like, whoa, you know, like people do like the, the balloons in a box, but like you open the box and you can see it before they go start flying. Like, I, I hate that. Sometimes. I mean, my sister and, and Danny did the box for their first kid. Was and, I there? Yes, you were there. And uh, I, I think it worked. I oh, was that at your, at your mom's? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that worked. I didn't think that, that, that went south. But um, there there are some that are out there that are getting you know what super I would do? creative. Maybe like a, you put dye in like a champagne. Fucking spray it. Oh. That'd be fucking Just sick. get like red or blue champagne or pink or Because blue, I'm an alcoholic. That's right. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> you know. But yeah, no, that would be cool. We're officially going to be outnumbered. Yeah, which is like the thing. Is yeah, like I mean, you could beat up all the kids anyway. <clears throat> I think I can. I yeah, gotta say I though. <gasps> Sorry. Yeah. Hiccup. Miles is tough. Yeah, he's no. a tough little bastard. Yeah, but you could you could really hurt him. I could. <laughs> if I needed to, I think I could. He strikes me as a. Uh, you know some people uh, like like espos like this, where it's like they just feel hard, kinda. No, Miles is tough. Like he, like like um, like just like the bones. Like they got hard. They got they're sharp. Like hard. They got sharp bones. Yeah, like he he's dense. Miles, you know? no, Miles is lean. He's muscular. No, I'm not saying. And he's got. I'm saying he's got no fear. I don't know if I've ever told this story. We were sitting at dinner one day, and he we were playing around. We were trying to get him to eat. We we're like, Miles, come on, eat, and he would eat and stop and blah blah blah. And I put my hand down like that, and he jokingly went like this, like hit me on the back of the hand. I was like, you know, joking. I was like, okay, go again. And he did it again. I was like, another one. And he did another like once or twice. And I was like, if you do it again, I'm going to do it. And he fucking cocked back and bang, did it again. I was like, all right, put your hand down. He went. I was like, all right, you ready? And Becca's sitting there. She's like, what? I was like, I got this. And you put a knife through his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I cock back. And I fucking go, Wah! and I stop within a hair of his hand. And he didn't fucking flinch. He was just like, damn, emasculated your shit. He did. I felt pretty small that day. That's crazy. But that was before. You cried in the shower that before night. Before Ruby and my, the current pregnancy. Yeah. So my balls at least still worked. Yeah. You know? Thank God. But now, do I snip snap it? You're going you're gonna to cut off the supply? I don't know. Do I? I don't do know. I pull? The, do I pull the root from the from the? You know? Do I pull the weed from the root? You want to turn your dick off? I want. To, yeah, I want to. I want to fucking. I want to become like a cool wiener. Like I shoot blanks. You think it's dangerous, but like it's only there for show. That's cool. <laughs> well, let's be clear. My penis is nothing for show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just like. But yeah, think about like. You know what's cooler than real guns? Toy guns. I don't know that's true. I think so. Like, Depends if you ask a Texan. What, what's cooler? Well, uh, if I ask a Texan, they'll tell me some wild shit. Yeah. What's cooler, a real gun or a paintball gun? Honestly. You want my real answer? Yes. Probably a real gun. No, no, no. <laughs> no, because a real gun, you shoot someone, you're in big time trouble. Obviously not to shoot a person. So what are you going to do with it? I'm just talking about like when you go to the gun range and you shoot a sniper rifle. That's awesome. It is. What are you going to do? Someone breaks into your house, you're going to pull out a fucking sniper rifle? <laughs> Stop. Move 40 feet back. <laughs> you're way too close yeah. for me. No, I think like a toy gun is cooler than a real gun because toy guns you can use. Yeah, but toy guns can get you hurt by a real gun. They can if you're being in, you know, irresponsible. If you're swinging it around. Do you know that speaking of toy guns? Oh my god. I have a story too. Go ahead. My dad went through this phase where he was like, he bought a RV. Yeah, I remember that phase. Yeah. It was a gigantic thing. I saw it. I remember. Drove it to my apartment from fucking uh, North Carolina. And I go in it. And honestly, they're fucking cool. Yeah, that thing's like, awesome. <laughs> that one wasn't cool because it was like not new. It was old, yeah. But like... Whatever they were kind of, it was kind of dope. But then he was like, "Look at this," and this is for a moment. I was e I had two things in my head because my dad had this bucket next to the driver's seat, and he goes, "Look at this," and there was a seat that just turned around 360, right? 
goes cool. into the uh, bucket. The way, cool seat. Cool seat. Turns into the uh, uh, reaches into the bucket and pulls out a fucking gun. And it was at that moment that I was like, my dad's finally going to kill me. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, <laughs> in that moment, I was like, here's where he does it in this car. I've, I've waited for this day. Yeah. Uh, or I thought he's going to kill himself. So I was like, or, one of us is going down or, here. Or, you know, the calm before the storm. Or a double, yeah, a double wham, maybe, maybe, <laughs> yeah. maybe. So, uh, but it, he was like, I was like, what the fuck are you doing? You know? I was like, what the fuck? And he's like, it's fake. And then he starts doing, pulling the trigger or whatever. Oh, that's dangerous. And I was like, what are you doing? Why do you have that? He's like, to scare people away. I'm like, that's how you get shot in the face. No, that's smart. I mean, you need to do that. If I, I don't know, bro. No, that's smart. Especially he lives down in North Carolina. I was always taught you don't pull unless you're ready to shoot. Well, yeah, you need to be ready. But you I wouldn't need to be fake in the pull. You need to be in the mindset. No, uh -huh. because it's a deterrent. Most guns are used as a deterrent, Joe. Yes, you but know, at least they like, have the option of working. Because you, if you pull out this gun, so they get scared, they pull out a gun, and you have a fucking bink, bink, what are you going to do? You just point it at them. This is what I'm saying, bro. If I have a gun, and you point a gun at me, you think I'm going to run away? If I have a gun, I'm going to pull it out and shoot you. Well, yeah, you're going to run away if, if, if I get the gun out before you do, because you reach for that gun, you're gonna, you think I'm going to blow your fucking brains out. I think if I run away, you're going to shoot me. If I don't have a gun, I'm running away. No, if you run away, then you're running away. No. That's the point of the gun is to get the person to run away. I'm aware of what the point is, but I'm saying people who have a gun, I feel like they're going to be like, I'm pulling this out. I got to kill this guy because he's got a gun on me. It could be. I mean, they, you know, quite possible. I can't put myself in the mindset of every gun owner in America. Well, the RV lasted like a month and he didn't kill me or himself. Well, that's good to hear. Not yet, at least. That's, so. that's good. Yeah, there's still time. <laughs> there's still time. <laughs> when I was in middle school, uh, I, I, I think it was like, Seventh grade or eighth grade, we were reading fucking Catcher in the Rye, which, by the way, cool American classic, one of the most boring fucking books in the world. Yeah, you know I passed all the tests for that in in high school, and I never read a page. Do you know that I copied a homework from someone? You know how they'd be like, read chapter nine and then answer these ten questions. The morning of that, like when that was due, I copied someone's homework, and they gave me the wrong answers for every question. That's fine. Like completely off. Completely off. Like just random. Like Holden Caulfield like decided to play as a clown. Yo. And they were like, what the fuck? I got That's a zero. Amazing. And the teacher was like, what the fuck did you read? And I was like, I don't know. The chapter? Yo, one time. Sorry to cut you off. Yeah, no, you don't care. No, I don't. There was one time in high school where I was a test like that. I would try and copy off of someone if I didn't know the answer to something. So I was trying to read someone's <clears> paper, but I'm like... You know when you like try to look but not look and your fucking brain is just like chill. Yeah, like it, yeah, like hurts. it hurts. It hurts. And I'm yeah. like looking <laughs> and I write down an answer and I must have read something that this person did not write because it was like the same deal. It was like completely off. And my teacher just like X'd out the whole thing and wrote what? Yeah. <laughs> on my test. I was like fuck. Yeah. I, I, oh man. When I was she had to have known I was cheating. Oh 100%. Yeah. I mean you know there's no way to think that well, you how, how did you cheat when you were in high school? Like what was your move? I didn't honestly. I wasn't a big cheater in high school. I was a big homework copier. But everyone cheats. I of course cheated in my at life at some point. Like, um, but were you like one of these? Like you were like, I was one of these. I was one of these. Like, oh my god, hands up, way too much. Hands up. I know I, it was attracting attention. Yeah. But I would also look up and close my eyes. So they would think like, oh, he just he doesn't want to get caught cheating. I would do this. Like I w I would cover my eyes and then I'd just be like. Yeah, that's a, oh, that's, that's a good really one. good. You <laughs> slippery little I'd bitch. Like, because no one, no one like itches their eyes and faces forward. They like look around. It's just yeah, like just be like, all right, you know, I, mean? um, I I'm sure there have been like super creative ways. Uh, I, you know, one of these through uh, my thing, through my hand, through your hand. That's a good one. That's a good one. I at, at least on one occasion faked like snotting into my hand. Remember when kids would do that in elementary school? Oh, you'd be like to like walk up and go and like on the walk, I'd be like. That's good. You That's know, a good just like one looking too. around. Uh, but I just girls used to put answers in their titties. Another benefit to being a woman. They got it so much better than us. I know, especially all the white ones. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I've seen some really, really interesting ones. Like someone once uh, printed like a replica of a like the old Snapple uh, l labels on the glass bottles. Yeah, and like put answers on like the nutrition facts. Wow, genius. That's a little crazy, dude. Absolute genius, yeah. And then I've also seen one where, you ever have one of those tests where it was like, 
you can bring a cheat sheet, but it's whatever you could fit on a uh, an index card. Yeah. And someone will literally write in like microscopic details to fit basically a whole fucking answer key on. Uh, I've never seen that. Like bring your own cheat sheet. What yeah, the fuck? yeah, yeah. There, there are ones that I classes I took where it was saying like you can, you have this. A single index card, a fucking five by seven or whatever it was, smaller, I assume. You can use that as a cheat sheet, but nothing else. So whatever you can fit on there, you're good. And I was like, uh, all right. I've seen people that like wrote so, because you think about it, like you just put like a couple like keywords or equations or whatever. People wrote so small, they basically wrote out like the whole fucking answer key on their index card. That's weird. I would put, I would tape like formulas or whatever into my like TI-83 calculator. And like just put my I was so good with I had a TI-84 because I was cool I was so oh, I don't know which one I had I just <laughs> do you have the older one or the cooler one I don't know was it like blocky looking or like was there like curves to it what never mind um, but I was so good with those calculators that there's ways to store information in them yes like you can store like as a function you can store like hello my name is Frank and if you type in like F1 or something, it'll fucking put it yes, on the screen. Yes, I remember that. Yeah. I used to do that shit all the time, dude. Yeah. But what I was saying before when we were talking about the toy guns, when I was in seventh grade, we were reading Catcher in the Rye. And I, I think there's a point in the book, or it might have been another book, where there's a gun. So each group, like each table had to act out a scene from Catcher in the Rye. And we did the one with the gun. And I don't know how I got away with this. In hindsight, I should have been fucking shot in the head. I those little pop guns, yeah. Remember the ones that you'd put the rolls in that you'd fucking you'd, of you'd squeeze in and clap like a like a little revolver. Yeah, exactly. I painted it black and brought it into school, <laughs> like a fucking nineteen fifties cop. Yeah, basically. And uh, I was like, I brought it into school as a prop for the thing, and no one questioned it. No one like this was fucking two thousand. I mean, also people weren't five. People weren't really doing that. Yeah, I mean, it's not as unfortunately prevalent as it is now, but... I Columbine. 1999. Was it? Yes. No, I believe you. Uh, I, I just, I remember no one fucking batted an eye. And, at, like, in hindsight, looking back on it, you ever look back on something you didn't just be like, that's fucking insane that I didn't get hurt, die, or get arrested? That's one of those situations where it's like, bro, I should have gotten all three of those. Yeah, I got a lot of moments like that. You've been there for one of them. Which one? Not in this state. Not in Connecticut either. But oh, oh was, yes, 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 yes. That yes, was yes. a whole big jail job that should have went down. A jail job? Yeah. I don't know how was it, but a jail job. I mean, you you should have gotten abducted if anything, and fucking your organs sold. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm talking about um, Kajab. Oh, oh, when I was drunk in Vegas. Yeah, that's what I thought you were referencing. Oh, no, no, no. I was talking about, uh, it was like 2012. Oh, okay. I, I think I know the other one. I think <laughs> yeah. I think I know which one you were that referencing. That was the one where I was like, I should have been. But in Vegas, yeah, no. You know, I mean, and honestly, it was a miracle that I made it back to our hotel room that yeah, drunk. Yeah, I guess we're not telling uh, the Miami story. Or have Fuck we, no. Have we spoken about that Miami story? We not haven't? about you. I'm saying the Miami story. What is the one? Outside, so not your story. Yours is separate. I'm saying the the one, the the other one. Oh no 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 no. no, no. no. Okay okay okay. We don't want to we don't want to be canceled yet. Not about. I don't think that would be a canceled one. It's just like, fair enough. Yeah whatever. Yeah, let let, um, let certain stories die. The other one was just that was a crazy one. But <clears throat> neither here nor there. Neither here nor there. We're out. Uh, our fathers haven't killed us. That's right. Not yet. There is your, still time. Your security guard didn't kill you. Do security guards at schools have guns? Uh, I, I don't... Like the truancy officers? I don't think so. They just probably beat you with a flashlight or something? I remember I was... Bro, I was so cool with all of mine. Like, we were like fucking like boys. Me too. In middle school, I was cool with them. Our in janitors school, used to help us sneak out of school. We didn't have any security guards in high school. We just had like one dude that had like a radio. Well, because... His was name was like Mr. Brown or something. What the fuck? Oh, no, his name is Ted John. That sucks. His name was Ted John. Dude, he used to give first me name Ted, last name John. I don't. I don't. I have no idea. That's, if that's his real name, I honestly don't even know if that's his name. He well. was like an urban legend to me, <laughs> but he would like give me a detention all the time. Yeah, we had security officers. You didn't have them because what was keeping you inside was the power. The, Lord. the power of the Holy Christ. Yeah, exactly. The <laughs> sin. The original sin was keeping us. Original indoors. Original sin held the doors closed. Exactly. And kept you all on the street. In and middle school, we had 
And I was handcuffed once by one of them. Really? For no reason. I was so scared. There was a kid. <laughs> I didn't ever told you the story. I don't think so. If you have, I forgot it. There was this kid in our middle school. His name was Bakari. I remember that name. Yeah. And this kid was... He, I, Didn't you try to fight him? Bro, I would have never. Oh. So there was a kid, I, and I know his last name too, but I'm not going to say it because I don't want people to look him up because I, I wasn't even really friends with him back then. I hate to tell you, Bakari, not a very common name, Joey. I mean... <laughs> yeah, but whatever. But this kid, Bakari, was strong as shit. Like, I think he would put up a good fight against 30-year-old me right now, and we were in fucking eighth grade. Okay. And there was this girl, Kelsey, that I was cool with, and... No, no, no. Cool At no point was it ever like that. Okay. But then I guess they were dating or something. And I was like in the gym class and I'm just like hanging off to the side. And then some girl comes over and she goes, um, Bakari is looking for you. And I said, huh? Problem. <laughs> and the girl, Kelsey is like, he, like right there. in the same group that I'm in. Yeah. And I was like, for what do you mean? She's like, oh, it said that you, you were, uh, trying to get with Kelsey so he's gonna fuck you up. And I, I look at her and I go, "Are you gonna help help me? <laughs> like, gonna, I, I gonna like I'm not gonna like do this, yeah. you know." And um, then I had heard that it was like, "Oh no, it's Joey from the fourth floor," and I was on the third floor. So I was like, "All right, cool." Like, you dodged a fucking yeah. bullet. Yeah. So I was like, "All right, whatever." Whew. And then uh, someone came back and was like, "Oh no, it's you." And I was like, oh, what the fuck? So they did the old switcheroo on you. Yeah. And like this kid, like everyone knew this kid that he was, you know, he would have murdered me like legit. And, uh, so I guess word got around. And then I remember I was in, I was in the same class. I was in gym class. And one of the security guards came up to me with the Dean, this guy, Mr. Allen. And he comes up to me and he's like, this guy always looked like he was about to fall asleep. He's like, <laughs> so I walk over to him and then the security guard puts me in handcuffs. Me, bro. In eighth grade, I was like 100 pounds. You could have slipped through those handcuffs. Yeah. Like, I was tiny. And this kid was a brolic. They put me in handcuffs, and they bring me to the fourth floor and put me in a fucking room, right? They bring me into the, the assistant principal's office up there. And then there's a, a small room next, like, within the office that they put me in, right? They put me in that and sit me in a chair like this, and he's sitting across from me. He's not handcuffed. Damn. And I was like, what the fuck? Damn, that's some reverse racist shit on your ass. I was like, this dude's going to kill me. Like, whatever, right? I'm kidding. So they were like, you guys, like, talk it out or whatever. And we just, like, were talking, and I was like, bro, I, like, me and Kelsey are cool. I was like, I never, whatever. You, you were shook. So they left I, you alone with him? Yes. And they told you to talk it out? And I was handcuffed. Bro, this kid could have fucking washed you. 100%, and the door was closed. And I was like, what the fuck is, what is how is this the answer in eighth grade? It's some Matrix shit. So after that, they bring us out into the, like, they, like, let us go, and they're like, you know, whatever, like, because they were just trying to prevent a fight from happening. By putting you in the perfect situation to kill each other? Yeah, okay. I guess. Here, go into this room. Here, take a knife. <laughs> um, so after that... And what did you say about his mom again, Joe? Yeah, right. <laughs> Give him a little mustard. Uh, when I, so then afterwards, uh, they uncuff me, and they're like, all right, go back to class. So me and him are walking... In the hall, I don't know why I remember this so vividly, but we were walking in the hallway towards the stairs. Well, he like his class was on the fourth floor, so he was like walking to the left, and I was walking down the stairs. And as we were getting to the point where we were gonna like go our separate ways, he just goes like this at me, like he's gonna tackle me, like real fast. That right? was it. You almost saw. You almost saw the light. So he did that, and I just turned like this, and I didn't like flinch too hard, but I turned, and he goes, "I scared you, didn't I?" And I was like, "I'm going to fucking class." <laughs> I literally didn't even say a word. I was That's like, why uh, you went and you went to a school with the Lord in it. Less fights, bro. I was, I, I he when he did that, I was like, oh, I'm dead. Yeah, like for were, a hot second, I was like, he's gonna tackle me, and I'm dead. But he like faked it, and he's like, I scared you, right? And I was like, <laughs> I went to a school with a kid like fuck that in hell. middle school. His name was Jamal. Kid was fucking awesome, super, super, super chill. But don't fuck with him because he would kill you. And I remember there was one day where he was fighting this kid. I forgot what the name of the kid was, um, but the kid. Like, fucking swung up, like, on the side of the street, found, like, a plank of wood and swung and hit him, and it broke on the kid's back. And he turned around unfazed <laughs> and was just like, I'm, I, now you have to die. Yeah. And I'll, I never forget that. I was not a big, you know, I'm not a big fighter. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Me neither, bro. I'm shocked a big I, pussy now. Shocked I haven't gotten hit more times in my life. Me if, too. I've never been hit 
in my life now that I think about it. The only time I can remember, I've been like punched really bad once, but I've and I've been like hit, but like more of like a in a thing, like a tussle. But there was one time. There was one of my friends, Anthony. This kid, An- this kid Anthony, for some reason, he was like the Spanish kid. He would just talk like the Terminator all the time, and we thought it was hilarious. Who the fuck is this? Oh, is that the tall kid? No, no, no. Oh, what right. the fuck are you talking? I don't know. About? No, no, but he would just talk like the Terminator because we thought it was funny, like all the time. Like so he like didn't every say- time he talk. Yeah, but he like <laughs> he wasn't his voice accent? wasn't like no, it's like it wasn't his voice. He would just do it, and we would laugh. But anyway, this kid got into a fight uh, with this with this Asian kid. I forget his name. And I see them fighting. So I'm like running over because he has my friend on the ground. So I, I see him like whatever. So I just like run and I tackle the kid who's on top of him. And I like, we were kind of like <clears throat> tussling on the ground and I was like trying to punch him or whatever. And this kid, his name was uh, Jun Lee, I think his name was. Bro, this kid came, I could see him down the hallway running. And this kid just cocked back and fucking punched me right in the cheek Ooh. so hard. And I was just like, I'm done. And I just laid on the ground and I just saw like my friends jump over my body. And I was like, I'm yeah, not doing this. I can't really ever remember a time getting hit myself. I, I'm trying to think. That was it, the only time I remember. Yeah. And, and, and I mean, like, again, I've been in like small, like that one little fight with that kid, Francisco. And like, it was mostly like. You guys definitely punched each other in the face. We punched each other in the face. But like, it wasn't like to the point where it was like someone hit like a fucking like, oh shit. Yeah, no. You know? Also, um, I was mad young. I haven't. Yeah, fucking. I haven't bro. even like been in like a whoa, whoa, whoa type of thing since I was like in fucking since I was like seventeen. No, you you did that to me once. I told that story at Jack Jones that time where I almost beat that guy up. Yeah, but that had nothing to do with me. I know, but uh, I was ready to oh, fucking you mean, beat up an old man for you. But you you mean you were not in a pull apart? Yeah, I wasn't in, in, involved. Yeah, in anything. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I, usually me trying to break up something that happened. Yeah, with my I, I I I don't really, and even then, like I don't. Our friend group really didn't fight a lot. I know people that tried to pick fights in our friend group, yeah. but uh, we didn't really like have like that group of friends. Were like, bro, can you imagine? There are people whose group oh. of friends like every time they go out, someone gets into a fight. That's tough. That's gonna suck, dude. Hold on, real quick before we uh, wrap up here, I need to get to these ads. Okay. Uh, the one we have here is Harry's. Harry's razors, folks. Uh, they're the best razors on the market. They have some of the best packaging and marketing I've ever seen, to be honest with you. And it is such a good gift uh, for yo man. Uh, right now you can get Harry's starter set for just $3 plus you'll get a free travel size body wash the set includes a five blade razor weighted handle foaming shave gel and a travel cover uh, a $16 value for just $3 if you visit harrys.com slash basement um, but I've used Harry's for years now uh, I've, been, I've worked with them in the past they are great the razors are great uh, I recommend them to everyone definitely use them um, but yeah, they're awesome. And they started just the, this, this starter set starts at $3. It's a $16 value for $3. So it's amazing. Um, also refill blades are as low as $2 each and delivered right to your door. So super convenient. Uh, again, to get the starter set today and a free travel size body wash, go to harrys.com slash basement. That is harrys.com slash basement. And lastly, here we have SeatGeek where you can buy all of your tickets. You want to go to a Broadway play, a concert, sporting event, whatever you want to get tickets to, you can get them on SeatGeek. It is the best app for it. Uh, you know, you, you go on their interface, it'll show you uh, in the stadium where there's good tickets and bad tickets. Like you can get like, if it's dark green, it means it's really good um, price for that ticket. If it's dark red, then it's like, these people are probably overcharging. Um, so they are transparent in that regard. Um, but yeah, shout out to SeatGeek, you know, all over YouTube and, you know, whatever, they're the best. Um, but yeah, uh, go out, go have some fun, go to a show, go to a game, do whatever you want. Uh, you can get $20 off your first purchase with the promo code BASEMENT at SeatGeek.com or on the SeatGeek app. Again, the promo code is BASEMENT for $20 off of your first SeatGeek order. All right? So there you go, folks. Um, but yeah. How did we get there? Oh, I'm having, I'm talking another, about I'm having another kid. Yeah, you're having a child. I'm having another child. Frankie's having another child, guys. Joey He's having a baby. Is uh, your three kids back? Your three kids. Behind. Oh well, you got technically you're only one because you got yeah. your hot sauce. You got Charlie. Yeah. And then what's gonna be your next kid? I don't know. Well, you got the Rolex. You got the Range Rover. Why are these children? Um, uh, because of the way I like to make fun of you. I'll have kids one day. I believe you will. Yeah. I think you got to make sure those fish swim though. Come on, man. I, I hope they do. I think the world needs more of you. 
Why'd you make that face? Uh, I'm joking. Oh, yeah. The world definitely doesn't need more of me, but I'm giving it to them anyways. Right. That's the American way, baby. Shove it down their throats. That's not how babies are made. Well, their their bottom throat. <laughs> That's such a weird way to... This is my bottom throat. Yeah. Uh, technically... It is a bottom throat. It is similar to the throat. I think about it. Stuff goes into it. There's lips. Stuff come, noises and stuff come out of it. There, Some, sometimes there's a mustache. There are lips that enter. Yeah, sometimes there's a mustache. Yeah. A beard even. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, you know, you need to clean it more. <laughs> Wash it out with soap when it curses. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Did that ever happen to you? Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it has. I think what happened to me once, yeah. My your, mom, your parents washed your mouth out They put soap? liquid soap in my mouth, yeah. Liquid soap? Yeah, not the bar, Oh, dude. my mom put a bar in my mouth. Oh, we didn't get we didn't get that cool No, nah, my mom hit me with the dove. Bow, hit me in the face oh, with Oh, yeah, I got that fucking... You know the dove that's used to clean ducks? I got that shit in my fucking mouth. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or like, or like the, Dawn or whatever. Dawn, right? that's what it yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, Damn, yeah. Damn, she put dish soap in your shit? Oh, well, man. What are you gonna put? Fucking hand soap? No, I mean... Hand soap? Uh, I actually had a friend in college that would clean his dishes with hand soap for a while and then he ended up getting a wild 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 throat infection and no one knew why and then he told the doctors like oh well i you know i they're like all right tell us your normal day he's like i do this i do this i do this i eat i wash my dishes and they're like oh wait what do you wash your dishes with and he told them hand soap and they're like yo that's what that is from he got an insane throat infection because hand soap has like moisturizers in it so he was fucking cleaning his dishes with basically like moisturizers and then eating off of it and he was getting that in his throat. I don't know if I buy this. You don't have to. It happened. <laughs> I don't care if you buy it or not. It is true. You can get a sore throat like that? Not a sore bro, he had an infection. Soap's not soap. Soap is soap, but like bro, look at like fucking like cool soaps, like the white, you know. Whoa. Oh, hold on. <laughs> The whites. I didn't say the whites. <laughs> but like, you know, like that like creamy soap. The one that smells like fucking like coconut and honeysuckle or whatever. What the fuck honeysuckle is? I don't know. Well, that has moisturizer in it. Hmm. Like hand lotion, bro. I guess that makes sense. It does make sense because it happened. I, I'm trying to get some clarity over here. What, what more do you need for clarity? I gave you the whole fucking story. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck you. What clarity do you need? I'm just saying it it's it smelled a little fishy to me for a fishy? second. Fishy? Yeah, a little fishy. It didn't smell fishy. It's a legit What let me ask you this. What would I get out of telling that story? Outside of the satisfaction of saying I gotcha, what would I get out of telling a fraudulent story? I don't know. I think I think people make up stories all the time. So they just feel like included. That makes me feel real included, Joe. Talking about this kid that I know that got a throat infection <laughs> because of hand soap. What's a throat infection? He got a sore throat. No, no, no. Like, it, he needed What's a throat infection? Your throat gets infected, bro. Just like the That's lady... That's a sore throat. The lady throat? Was his, was his, was his throat sore? He sore a, throat. He had a sore throat, cough, mucus. Sore throat. I believe it was... Throat more. infection. Oh, so would you, call, would you call strep throat a sore throat? No, it's strep throat. Yeah, it's an infection. But it's strep throat. No one says throat infection. I have a throat infection. When you You'd ask like, what's people, you when you ask people what strep throat is, they'll tell you a throat infection. Who's gonna ask that question? Someone that has no clue what strep throat is. A, f- a fucking Amish person? No, even they know what strep throat is. Do you remember when I? Had Yo, cops? by the way, I found out. I, I, uh, take two. I ended up on an Amish girl's TikTok. And someone was like, bro, you whoa, got whoa, whoa. a phone? Whoa, whoa, whoa. How did that happen, dude? Yeah, no, no. She's got a phone. Yo, she's a fraud. That is, that's fake as shit. Yeah, yeah. She's How not... does an Amish girl have a TikTok? That's well, like, she's going to Amish hell, obviously. That's like Biggie Smalls or Jumbo Shrimp. Yeah, no. She she uh, she has a cell phone and she's like, yeah, you know, you'd be surprised. A lot of people, Amish people have cell phones um, in case of emergency. Bro, you know what this girl said? She was like. No. She. <laughs> she's like. She, she's like, it's important to have a cell phone when you are in this Amish community because it's just a case of emergency because they're seven hours away from the nearest hospital. Bro, you're dead. If you get a throat infection, if you get a throat infection, you're yes. fucked. 
Yeah. You're 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 done. Seven hours. Of, where the fuck? Are, where are they? I have no uh, fucking uh, the Middle Earth. I have no idea. Yeah, clearly. Well, I Seven hours. I feel like any everyone. I can get is, to Arizona quicker than that, bro. Seriously, I, legitimately, I can drive to fucking like West Virginia before they find a single hospital. That's where crazy. They, where do they live? I don't know, but that's what she said. Oh, well, well, also, ah, hold on. They got the horses, oh, bro. That's it. That's, that's it. it. They don't have a fucking Dodge Ram. That's why it's... Yeah, with a fucking vehicle that has over two horsepower, it would yeah. be an hour, but they have a fucking horse One horsepower. They got, it's they got the power of one horse. Power of one horse. That's bringing this thing to... That's why it's seven that's hours. That's why it's seven hours. Yeah. Because they also need to like, you know... You like, got to get a faster horse, bro. Seven hours is still a long time. I mean, I think... Or guess what? A fucking car? Yeah, bro. You got a cell phone? Just get a fucking minivan. Even a bike, dude. A horse and buggies don't even go that fast. A bike can go fast. Bro, horse and buggy... You ever seen a horse and buggy go fast? No, it's always like clip-clop, clip-clop, clip Yeah, clop. I can rollerblade faster than a horse. You can rollerblade pretty fucking sweet and fast. Yeah. <laughs> you can. Pretty fucking sweet and fast. I will say that. Uh, but yeah, that's why it takes... Bro, seven hours? What? So what did this TikTok girl say? What did she, why were you on her TikTok? Bro, was she just like, yo, like you remind up. me of you remind me of the faceless doll I played with when I was a kid? No, I was scrolling and this fucking Amish bitch just popped up. Weird teeth. Oh, you mean like her, in your feed she popped up? Yeah, but then I went to her page, and then just a bunch of Amish shit. She wasn't like shaking her ass or anything like that. Well, I, I mean, if she has a cell phone, she's that much closer to you know shaking butts Mephisto she might as well you know just kind of give in to the sin no she was just kind of like uh, like telling people about like the Amish life and like you know how to make butter or something I don't fucking I've know. actually seen a lot of videos of how to make butter and I honestly want to try I've seen really cool videos of someone making like special butter with like some green Herbs. shit in it yeah. yeah and I'm like Fuck. I saw someone making black garlic herb butter oop when you go to a restaurant they just have regular butter, guys. No, no, no. But some restaurants, they do, like, a fucking sick butter, and it, like, goes such a long way. The food can be, like, decent, but if the bread is fire, I'm going to be like, I love that place. I make an herb butter for Thanksgiving. Do you? Just How wanna... do you make butter? Cream? Well, no, no, no. The butter is the butter. Oh. I melt it, and I mix in, like, herbs and spices, and then I let it coagulate. You know, say spices again? Spices. Why do you say that so weird? How do I spices. Say spices. Look at your teeth. You're closing your mouth. Why are you doing spices? You're talking through your teeth. You can't say sp spices without closing your mouth. No, no, no. I'm saying your teeth are closed. Spices. Yeah, you're doing that. You're biting at me. I'm not you're biting. going spices. I'm not biting at you. That's spices. Spices. Look at you. I'm not. You're like a dog, angry. Like I'm an angry not dog. angry. It's, I'm saying sp spices. Because there's spices. Isis. Isis. <gasps> <laughs> you're wearing the shirt. What does that mean? They, they, they dress like 1920s people in jail. Oh. Which, ball and chain, hat. Yeah. They put hats on people in jail back in the day? Sleeping hats, yeah. regular hats, so jail many, hats. Didn't make any sense. Love people, hats back then. Well, that's why everyone's bald now, because they fucking had this shit on their head for 30 years. That's not true. How is it not? You're right. I can't there explain. There were kids. They wore baseball caps with fucking... Caps? <laughs> Jesus, made that real Hebrew right for a second. Baseball hats. <laughs> what the fuck are you saying, bro? Baseball hats. <laughs> Take it easy, there, bud. It's hot. Yeah. It's hot in here. It is it's hot. Baseball caps. I know. They had brims out to here. Yeah, that was like in the sand lot. Right. And then when they became like men at thirteen, <laughs> they wore fucking like fedoras. Yeah, and then they went to they dressed jail. like Pinocchio. Yeah, and then they went to jail, and they wore those fucking like jail hats. Yo, was Pinocchio German? Pinocchio. No, I don't think. I think it's Italian, dude. His dad's name was Geppetto. <laughs> <laughs> Not a very fucking German name. Because he's wearing like a leader hose, isn't he? I think so. Yeah, but I think Pino Pino Pinocchio. Yeah, it does sound like a pasta. It sounds like, like a, a small gnocchi. A small, uh, exactly like a, a little a pinocchio. Oh, like what do you want I, for dinner? Uh, you want a pinocchio? A pinocchio. And then this is my friend. This is Geppetto. Geppetto's a crazy name, man. Also, it's not his dad, bro. He made him. Oh, uh, technically his dad. Yeah, no, his maker. That's his god, though. That is his god. How does he get the voice and shit? I forget the story. When you wish upon a star. Who wished upon the star? Uh, I think Geppetto. Oh, okay. He was like, yo, turn my to doll. To the blue fairy. Well, like one of the fairies. 
or a fairy. Damn, I forgot you. And then I mean, Jiminy Pedro. Cricket is like, yeah. I remember the cricket. Jiminy. Yeah. And he's like, I got this. And he's like, bro, like, you can't, you got to be your boy. Fucking crazy story about dolls, yo. <laughs> yeah, it is. He, he's not wrong. Anyway, uh, guys. Once again, we had a whole episode where we didn't talk about what we wanted to talk about. <laughs> at all. Um, literally, I don't think we talked about one thing that I wrote down. We, no. We talked about the hot sauce because I want. I said I wanted to bring that up. Yeah. And then we talked about me having a child. That was it. That is it. Yeah, there was a bunch of other stuff too. But anyway, guys, uh, go get yourself a bottle of the uh, Secret Handshake Everything Bagel Hot Sauce. Uh, SecretHandshake.shop or go to theheatness.com and search it up. It will be there. Uh, go get yourself a couple of bottles. Support. Appreciate you guys so much. Frank, where can they find you? You can find me. Uh, disobeying the law. A real G thoroughbred from the streets, pants sagging with my gun in my drawers. Hey. Uh, F Alvarez8085 on Twitter. The Frank Alvarez on Instagram. And then go check out the Patreon. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Sign up now. Get these weekly episodes a week in advance. At second tier, you get weekly exclusive episodes every single Friday. Go check it out. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. <laughs> uh, you guys can go find me at Joe Santagato. Go follow the show at TikTok and Instagram. We actually just hit half a million followers. Half a bell. On TikTok. Trying to hit that Millie sooner rather than later. Again, at Secret Handshake Foods on Instagram, secrethandshake.shop to go get yourself a bottle of this hot sauce. Definitely try it. Let me know how it goes. It will ship to you in like two days. You'll be fine. Uh, and that is all. See you guys next time.